Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Me another superwoman. Hope you're all doing great. So, if you have watched all my recent videos and if you have thought that I have invested or if I have spent a lot of money on my clothing and accessories, the answer is no. So, here are a few tricks and tips to choose your accessories or your outfit so that you can mix and match with different outfits to create different styles. So, tip so tip number one is always choose for your clothing which is versatile. If you are shopping for a piece of cloth, always think twice or thrice whether it can be mixed and matched with your current wardrobe. Only then when you are not able to style your clothes in different ways then we only end up in spending more and more amount of money in clothing. So always make sure that your clothing is versatile. Tip number two, I don't prefer stitching a blouse that comes attached with a sari. The reason is because we will not get a good tailor. This is the first thing. Second thing is the tailoring costs so much. Third thing is we cannot mix and mash that particular blouse with any other blouse. So every time we have we or we have to or we are forced to stitch a new blouse for your sari. So I always prefer to go for a ready-made blouse. Ready-made blouse are not costlier at all. Compared to the stitched blouse, ready-made blouse are not costlier. They have so much of different colors and vari variations in a single blouse that you can match with many different saris. And also, I prefer to buy elastic blouses which are available currently. Elastic blouses like velvet blouses, stretchable blouses because they are so convenient even if you gain 1 or 2 kgs, they will still fit you and you can feel comfortable while wearing those blouses. Many feel that the blouses makes them feel suffocating. So this way you can avoid it and it makes your life very easier and simpler. While choosing for accessories, don't always go and buy something matching for that sari. For example, if you are buying a green sari, just don't go or rush to the um, fancy store to buy a very matching one to that sari. Instead, always try to buy or invest money on jewelries which are unique, elegant and a statement by itself rather than <clears throat> buying each and every accessory for your uh, matching your clothing. So that way you can create your own collection that will be versatile for any of your outfits. Also, don't go by fashion or trend. If you go by trend, you will only end up in buying something which will become out of trend in few uh, in quite some time. For example, if uh, if you remember, there was a trend of that one gram gold jewelry, and now it is out of fashion. Nobody likes to wear that. So whoever bought those one gram jewelry they will end up wasting those jewelry because it has gone out of trend and now you can't match it with your current outfits. So that is the re reason you should avoid these jewelries which are trend. Instead, buy something which is always unique and will stand on its own even if time passes. The best shops which I found for accessories in Chennai are Saravana Store's Party, Mailapu Tank, all the platform shopping and Teenagar Pandian Bangles and um, again there is one more shop in uh, Teenagar. So these are the shops which I really find uh, good collections of accessories and they are definitely cheaper compared to the accessories like uh, Shopper's Stop and Lifestyle. These brands are definitely too much. I usually never shop in a branded showrooms like uh, Lifestyle, Max and uh, Shopper Stop for buying my normal salwar or kurtis. The reason is because there are so much of duplicates available across all the showrooms. 
the reason is because I like to make my uh, outfits very unique. So I always try to shop in a smaller shops and to figure out something very interesting in that shop. So I don't stick to one shop particularly. I shop in all the smaller shops and I see to that that particular material is unique and versatile and can be paired with many outfits and it's easy to wash and maintain. So I always prefer to go for something which is like georgette, which can be like uh, machine washed, even if it, uh, if it is not ironed, it still looks uh, wrinkle free. So I always try to choose these uh, materials when it comes for a regular wear. If it is for a but for a work wear, I always prefer H&M and Marks and Spencers. West side pantaloons because they offer a good and comfortable western wear. In western wear, it is very important that we look neat and comfortable. Only then we can wear it confidently. So I always prefer to buy in these shops. Also, while choosing pants, it is always worth spending in a good quality brands than to buy something which is cheaper and of bad quality. So I always prefer to stick for good pants when it comes to western outfits. I hope this video is useful and uh, gave you some insight on the clothing and the accessories. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a hearty thumbs up if you like my content. Until I post my next video, take care. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to my channel with Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Meena Disu. Hope you're all doing great.